All right, happy Friday. So we're going to go ahead and, um, like I said last time we had a Friday, which was that Friday before Thanksgiving, we're going to do some sketchbook drawings uh, at, just to kind of wrap up the week. And this is just to keep sort of the practice of drawing going, even though we'll be doing some um, assignments coming up that aren't going to have a lot of just pencil drawing in them. Uh, but I think it is important that we just kind of keep practicing. So every week we'll do something a little bit different. Uh, this week we're going to draw a uh, dog, and you can choose your picture so you don't have to do the picture I'm doing. Um, but I, want, I did want to go ahead and show you uh, how to uh, set up a picture like this and talk about the how to break down the shapes of a dog, talk about some of the detail that um, you may need to, you may encounter on your drawing. Uh, you can follow along if you would like to draw the picture I'm doing. I'm going to have this picture, you should have seen it by now, uh, in the folder so you can look at that. But you can, just so that you're clear, um, you can uh, pick out a different type of dog that you want to draw. So you can, you can choose how your drawing ends up looking on this. Um, I would like for you to submit the photograph that you chose to use as your photo source along with the drawing uh, itself so we can take a look at both of those. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this set up. And um, I'm looking for maybe like 20 minutes uh, drawing here. All right, so first thing I do, and this is similar to last time. Now, last time I did the anime drawing, I ended up running out of space. Um, so I'm make sure that I'm starting a little bit higher this time. So similar to last time, just because we're drawing a dog, it's not all that different, really. Um, I'm drawing just basically, when you look at the drawing, the photograph itself, I'm looking for basic shapes, like the shape of the skull. And then I'm going to come down and sort of find the neck area, kind of like that. And then there's going to be the chest area here. Again, this light sketch at first doesn't always end up being sort of where everything ends up at the end of the drawing. This is just more about me visualizing kind of where I am um, as I progress through the drawing. So some of this will change. If you remember last time, uh, that definitely changed a lot on my drawing. So again, this is just very light, not permanent at all, um, just to get the basic, uh, I don't know, this the, the map, like you're mapping it out, just making sure that the composition is basically what you want to look you know, what you want at the end. So again, I'm just getting this very loose. You kind of see how I'm holding my pencil. It's very light at this point. Um, if you're holding it way down here, you're probably going to end up with a much tighter drawing to start out with. And I don't think you really need to, to worry about that at this point. So anyway, there's a basic shape. I don't, like I said, I don't know if that's going to be how it ends up finishing out. Um, we'll see at the end. I'm guessing some things are going to be a little bit lower here. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and kind of get started, and I'm going to work my way down. Um, I don't know if there's one wrong or right way to start on a drawing. I think everybody's a little bit different, and whatever you're comfortable with, um, as you do more drawings is fine. Because if you watch videos of people drawing, you're going to see everybody does something a little bit different. So this is not about like me telling you that the way I draw is perfect, and that's the only way to do things. I'm just trying to show you. Um, this is kind of how I draw. Again, it is hard for me to draw and talk at the same time, so just kind of keep that in mind as well. Uh, I'm not a YouTuber or anything, so. All right, so I'm just kind of getting the shape of the ear in, kind of coming down here where the neck is. That's going to be the collar. I can already tell I'm a little bit um, going to end up a little bit lower here. So there's the shape of the collar coming down and then the chest area. So I guess that first one is just um, almost, almost, almost like to warm up. I think in some ways it's more about like, I'm now looking, I'm going to start looking at the drawing and it's just almost a practice taking my eye and going through the shape of it. And then once I have that down, it's not, I'm not stuck with it. It's not permanent or anything. I'm now going to be able to start going in and doing some of the detail. Like I said, on this drawing, uh, you don't have to follow along with me necessarily, but if you are, uh, definitely use the pause, you know, the ability to pause the video. So if you're stuck on something, um, you can stop my drawing and kind of catch up to me if that's what you're doing on your end. But again, this is more about 
just getting you to work in the sketchbook, getting you to practice drawing. Um, you know, sometimes I think we get too caught up in just doing a project and um, we kind of forget to just go back and practice a little bit. And so that's what this is about. The more you draw, the easier it gets just because just like anything, it's just practice and things will become a lot simpler in as you practice more and more on it. So I'm looking at muscle here. There's a kind of a muscle here where the leg is attached to the chest area. Now you're, if you're doing a different drawing than this, then you know, the angle is going to be a little bit different. You may not see the chest straight on like that. Um, but for mine I do. And the, the other thing I like to do is I'll connect lines. So I know that this line comes up, which is basically here, and then it's going to work its way down through the belly and then up into the chest area. Now that leg is in the way. That doesn't mean that I necessarily want to skip over what's behind the leg. I mean, eventually I'm not going to see it, obviously. But I think to make this part look like it's connected to that part, you do need to sort of draw in the entire connection like that. I mean, you have an eraser for a purpose, then you can always go back and erase that. But now I know that that line and that line literally do connect. Sometimes if I'll see people that will stop and then start, and they don't start in the right place. It just doesn't, like, there's not enough room for this to get to there, like up here, if you went to a little too high. And it just kind of visually helps you figure out, like, where things go. There's a little bit more of a muscle on that side. So I'm looking at that line or that shape right there this time, and then looking at how that comes down. Um, I want to make sure I have enough room back here. So if this is the leg coming down, then I want to make sure that I have this negative space here coming down like that. Now legs, like any four-legged animal, um, they'll have a very similar shape to this back leg. So what I do when I draw anything that has segments to it, like this leg or hands with fingers or whatever, is I'll try to break it down and I'll draw like part of it. So I'm gonna basically draw like that part of the leg coming down to maybe like where the knee is. And then I'll come over here and do the same thing, kind of draw down to where the knee is. Now these back legs, like I said, on any kind of like four-legged animal, they sort of, they're almost backwards in a sense with like how they're shaped um, in terms of, versus like their straight, the, the straightness of their front legs um, isn't going to be repeated back here. They're not like table legs. I think we, we did this a long time ago when we worked on the giraffe. Um, but again, just kind of pay attention to the, the fact that it kind of bends back and then comes forward like that. So there's this sort of in and then out kind of thing like that. But again, I draw my legs in segments. I break it down into parts, and I feel like that helps me a lot. Now I'm going to look at a couple things here. My The negative space on the photograph and the negative space on my drawing are way out of whack. Um, I'm gonna look at this point here and draw a line straight across with my eye and see that it comes up into the chest area. So if I did that same thing on my drawing and I came back with a line and I'll notice that the negative space is way higher. It's gonna end up being more like in this little space right there. So again, I'm not perfect and I, and I like to show you that you know, I'm not going to draw everything exactly right at the beginning. Um, and I and I noticed that earlier when I did this, I did, I did feel like this angle was probably too flat. Now that's going to pull that down better, and I feel like that's going to look right. Part of it is like, uh, like I was saying earlier, it's hard to talk and draw. And I think sometimes I get a little focused in on kind of what I'm talking about rather than like the overall picture that I'm drawing. But just like anything else, I'm practicing um, doing this on video, so hopefully it gets a little bit better. All right, so I'm not going to finish that legs out just yet. I'm going to make sure that everything feels like it's in the right place. Negative space here is important. Um, the angle on that leg, if you look, if I drew a straight line down from like the butt straight down, you're going to uh, notice that the foot is to the left of that. If that, if that was a straight line, the foot is to the left of that. I'm drawing it as if it was straight. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that and have that come out more at an angle. So it's going to come out more, eventually more like that. And then I think this even probably comes down more kind of like that. All right. So again, these legs have a little bit of a joint there coming down. 
And then I, I do want to notice like where things fall compared to everything else. Things that are closer to you tend to be lower on the paper. So if you notice the closest leg to us is obviously this one right here. Um, if I drew a line straight across, you'll see that these feet don't line up. Um, if I drew a line across that way, you'll see that those feet don't line up. If I draw a line across from this foot back, maybe the back foot here and that are close, but they're not exactly the same. That one's a little bit higher up, and then that one's the high, highest up. So that's the furthest one away. Um, and I'm just showing you how this works. That being the furthest away from you, it is the highest up in terms of like where the foot is, it's the highest up on the paper. And then this will come down a little bit lower, that will come down a little bit lower, and then that is the lowest. So before I draw those in, I, I wanna make sure that that's staying true on the drawing itself. Now, if I, when I draw these feet, what I'll usually do is just draw like a little circle first. Um, that will turn into the foot later. This will come down, and that sort of turns into a circle. It's almost like, it's like they have like little, um, I don't know, like little, booties on or something like little tiny little shoes and then this will come down again a little bit lower than that foot actually i'm actually i think i went too low with that one so let's pull that up a little bit there this one's definitely higher but i don't know if it's that much higher so that will come up just a little bit from where i had it and then drawing a line visually kind of coming across this way and then i know that one's gonna be a little bit lower which makes that one a lot lower, which will pull that one down to about right there. I was pretty close on that original sketch, I think. I, I don't think I really got, got it that far off now that I look at it. Sometimes things will look too long, and it's not that they're too long. It's just that you're, like maybe this leg is too thin, and that gives you sort of a optical illusion of it looking too long. So this leg will get a little thicker, especially up here in the top, and then come down like that. And then now I'm going to maybe start drawing maybe the shape of the foot in more than just like a little circle but i'm still not really at this point ready for a ton of detail also things that are closer to you do tend to be a little bit bigger um so probably technically that one's a little thicker than that one is but not so much that it looks like they're two different legs or anything or two different you know parts of a, a dog like you want to make sure they look like they're attached to the same dog, that's what I'm trying to say. And then this comes back, and then that one kind of comes in like that. Again, you'll notice I'm not drawing a lot of detail yet. I'm just getting the basic shape in. Um, this one will come down. There's a little bit of a shape right there, I think. I think what's happening is you're seeing sort of the, the, um, the leg come in, and then you're kind of seeing that part here reflecting in that little shape that comes out like that and then again just a little foot shape now that one's coming straight at us so it's not going to look the same as those it's going to be more like that or so all right so i'm okay with all that that feels like everything's basically in the right place i don't know that they're exactly perfect at this point and i'm not even concerned about it being perfect either um, as long as it looks right that's kind of the main thing all right so i'm going to work my way back up um, let me check my time. All right, 13 minutes. All right, so I'm going to come back up like that. This is going to go over. There's a little bit of a shape there. I'm basically redrawing some of the lines I already had in there. The collar actually comes in more. There's a gap. Not a gap, but there's like you can see part of that back part coming up before you actually see the collar, which is just the shoulder coming over. And then the collar comes down. If you have a, if you're drawing a, a different picture, or if you're drawing this one, I mean, you can leave the collar out if you wanted to. Um, some, you know, you're as the artist, you can sort of pick and choose what you end up keeping. I don't know if that looks like that's a tag of some sort. And then there's a buckle here. I don't know if I'll get into all the detail of the buck of the um, collar or not. I'm just trying to get it in there to look right okay so now i'm going to come up and look at the negative space kind of here and look at mine i feel like the mouth or whatever that is like the little flap coming down that must be the ear on the other side i'm looking at that little space right there that's i think the ear coming down from the other side and then his i guess chin 
would come up like that. There's a little bit of like this little droopy part of the lip coming down. And then this comes up, the muzzle comes up like that. If you want to, you, I, what I would probably do is I would draw a line coming down like that. Kind of like we did on the, on the faces. Um, if you draw a line like that, that does give you a sense of like where the middle of everything is and where everything should be coming together like that. So you might draw your, um, if you have a dog, you might draw the, your dog's breed if you want to. If you want to do something completely different, you can. Um, I'm drawing a short haired dog. If you are uncomfortable with drawing a longer haired, like you're trying to draw the hair, you can maybe definitely um, choose a shorter haired one. I just wanted to draw one that was shorter haired because I wanted to be able to see the, show you the shapes of everything as I was drawing it. And sometimes the longer haired dogs will hide some of that and you can't really see it as well. So that ear comes down. It's about right there. I feel like that may come down down more like that and then it kind of feels like it sticks out further than when I have it and then I'm gonna um oh man hang on that happens let me restart my camera really quick okay sometimes that camera does that All right. Okay, now I'm gonna draw the eye. I'm gonna zoom in here really quick, if I can. Zoom, zoom, zoom. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sort of zoom in on my own drawing so I can see that. All right, so the eye is gonna be, so if you look, there's like a line here coming up. Um, I didn't draw that nose right now that I'm zoomed in. That nose kind of sticks out a little bit further. I'm not looking for like a completely finished drawing here. I'm not, I don't have time for that for one thing. And, um, and it's okay on your end too. So what I'm looking for is, is I'd actually kind of like to see your sketchy lines. Um, that to me sometimes helps me sort of see what you're doing better. So you don't, don't feel like you need to like completely finish this out. Like as long as you got all the information in, um, I'm not looking for complete value or anything. I'm just looking for just a, a, a study is what you'd call this, where you're just kind of focusing on and practicing the, the shapes, but you're not really sitting here trying to make a drawing that you would um, call completely finished with shading and everything. You can if you want to, but all right, let me fix that part. So I'm looking at the pupil of the eye. Um, let me do this again. I'm looking at the negative space here. I may have that ear too far in. I feel like there's a lot more space kind of here that I'm not showing. Let me pull that back just a little bit. So this, his head kind of comes back a little bit further and then the ear, even more like in that space. Maybe that was why that felt lower on the picture than my drawing is because I had the I think the ear shape was right. It was just too far in, which actually might change sort of that over here. So I took basically that and I moved it back over here a little bit. All right. So now I'm going to, now I have a little bit more room, I think for the eye, I think i went a little too big with it. So now I'm looking at the kind of the circle and then I'm looking at the shape that the eye lid kind of creates, which is almost like a little wedge shape coming in like that. And then the pupil is sort of in like that. Maybe like a little, little bit of a highlight. Um, I'll go ahead and lightly show that there's a line there where the white part of the muzzle changes color there. And then this comes down. And there's a little bit of a shape for the eye on the other side. Again, I'm not too concerned. I might shade some of that in just so it's not too confusing. And I may go ahead and shade a little bit here and there of places that feel a little bit darker than everything else. And then I can come down and um, let's zoom out a little bit again. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and kind of show that this part of the dog has brown by just a real light bit of shading. I don't, again, I'm not trying to 
finish this out. I'm not even really looking at shadows all that much. I'm just trying to get a basic shape in here. Now this definitely could be a drawing that I could go back and finish out. And that is sort of the idea of a sketch. The whole purpose of a sketch would be to eventually go back in and sort of finish it out. But for this one, we're just practicing it. We're not looking for complete drawings here. There's a little bit of a spot right there. I might shade the back leg in a little bit in here. That just kind of helps visually pull that leg back. There's maybe a little bit of a shading underneath here. Um, let's go ahead and do real quick, so a little bit of detail on the feet. I mean, oh, you can't even see what I'm doing here. See, I get so focused in and I can't remember where I am. Okay. So we're going to do a little bit of just a hint at the fact that they're, the feet do have a shape with the toes here. Just kind of separating this out. Not, again, not concerned too much, just trying to get the basic shape in. All right, and then I may go ahead and show that there is a little bit of a, of a background here. I like to show the ground level. Um, if you, you know, I feel like if you float things, for whatever reason, they just don't feel as heavy. They don't have weight. They feel like they're just floating in space. And so I, I do like to definitely um, go ahead and like sometimes like I'll even do like something like this, just show that there's a little bit of ground underneath whatever it is that you're drawing. Almost a shadow, but for this picture, it really isn't one. So I'm just going to do a little bit of shading kind of across like that um, just so that you can get a sense that there's something there. I'm not going to even worry about this stuff up here. I'm just going to leave it pretty much like that. Pretty simple. Pretty loose. Okay, last thing I'm going to do is, even though this is a loose sketch and I think it looks okay, I'm going to go ahead and maybe w one more time really quickly, I'm going to go through and just darken in some of these lines to make them look a little bit more final. If you'll notice, I'm not even completely connecting things. I'm just kind of getting the basic shapes and lines. And I feel like um, some, on this, this is a hard thing, I think, for some people, um, but sort of this confidence of, like, that's the line. And that's the line. I'm not sitting there, like, drawing it really slow. I'm just basically getting some of those lines kind of in like that. I didn't really spend too much time on this collar. I mean, I could really focus in on that, but that's not what we're doing. I just want enough of the collar in that you can tell that it's a collar. That's, that's all I need. In fact, that collar actually comes up a lot smaller up here. Look, it tapers off. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this out. And like I said, you can pick your your dog that you would like to do so you don't have to fix you know, whatever. I think this is a short-haired German pointer. I think this is what this is. I don't know if I've ever seen one in person, but I like these kind of sporting dogs. I like the shapes of them. I don't know. They're kind of cool. That foot looks really weird. I'm going to flatten that, flatten that out more here. And then just gonna finish this out and I'm gonna be done. So darken, like I like to really make the eyes dark, um, just to make sure those really stand out. And then just a little bit of a shape to that nose I'm gonna fix here. It's got almost a little bit of a bump on the top and this will come in like that. All right, so that's it. Um, have fun. Don't stress too much about this. This is all about practice. This is just about me seeing that you are taking a little bit of time to draw something. Maybe you've never really drawn a dog before like this. Um, and then let's go ahead and post the drawing and the photograph so that I can kind of see what you're looking at when you're drawing this. And we'll go ahead and post that. I'll let you go ahead and 
um, check in today for attendance, and then I'll give you the weekend to work on your drawing. So we'll just go. No, hang on. Uh, yeah, let's go and do that. I'll give you till Sunday to turn the drawing in. So let's do just check in for attendance on that. All right. There you go. Y'all have a great weekend. Thanks. Bye.